Good morning. Today's story is called Kipper's Toy Box and it's by Mick Inkpen. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's toy box. I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper. He emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's wrong, he said. There should only be six. Kipper counted his toys again. This time he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl, one. Hippopotamus, two. Sock Thing, three. Slipper, four. Rabbit, five. Mr. Snake, six. That's better, he said. Kipper put his toys back in the toy box. Then he counted them one more time just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight noses. That's too, too many noses, said Kipper. Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. One, he said crossly. Out went Hippopotamus. Two. Out went Rabbit, three. Out went Mr. Snake, four. Out went Slipper, five. But where was six? Where was Sock Thing? Hipper was upset. Next to Rabbit, Sock Thing was his favourite. Now he was gone. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. He picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. It was coming from the corner of the room. Kipper turned on the light. There, wriggling across the floor, was Sock Thing. It must have been Sock Thing who had been nibbling a hole in his toy box. Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Big Owl. Sock Thing wriggled slowly round in a circle and bumped into the basket. Then he began to wriggle back the way he had come. He didn't seem to know where he was going. So Kipper followed. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock Thing squealed and wriggled harder. Then a little tail appeared. A little pink tail. And a little voice said, don't hurt him! There you see the little pink tail. So it was you! You've been making the hole in my toy box, said Kipper. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box to make their nest. You must promise not to nibble it again, said Kipper. We promise said the mice. In return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard and the two little mice never nibbled Kipper's toy box again. But their babies did. They nibbled Everything. The end.